And no, so joining me right now, Jason Dundas, one of Australia's hottest hosts. How'd you like that intro? It's a good introduction. I can get used to that. I like it. The host of MTV's upcoming Beyond Dance, and today our correspondent. What? I, I dressed up for you. What is happening? Yeah, I, I, I thought I would represent. You just don't want to wear clothes, do you? No, I, I want to represent the brand. Am I doing it any justice? You are. Oh, good, 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 I good. I keep looking down, and I shouldn't. No, don't look down. This I is don't. the big mistake. <laughs> we have to talk about the hairdo, man. Yeah. What is the, the mullet? Can you, you do a it, spin? Right? Is it there? You loved it. The mullet's gone. It's officially uh, gone. I cried the day I cut it off at the end of filming. Have you ever had so much attention on a haircut in a row? No. I don't know if it was a mullet or the blonde tips in the hair. I can tell you it wasn't a good time for me at home. No. What it the, was not turned on. By yeah, the, the family mullet. didn't like it. The family just always embarrassed by me. Don't get a mullet. And it all came out when she sat down with our Jason Dundas. You ready? Yes. On your mark, it's set. Be interesting. Yeah, hey, go. If the right guy came along at the right time, or is marriage something that you would... Whoa, let's not get carried away. Yeah, we jumped pretty quick there. Yeah, yeah. you went from single to marriage. Well, I've only got like eight minutes left. Okay, well, <laughs> to propose to me, you mean? Yeah, well, we, could, we okay. could do that, yeah. If I'm good enough. If you're good we'll enough. See. What we'll sign are you? Leo. Oh. And is, that, is that compatible? Well, I'm a Leo, too. Is that, do two Leos go well together or not? That's a lot of fire, baby. Yeah, jeez. My first husband was a Leo. Okay. Well, we know how that ended. No sleeping for Jan. It's been a roller coaster week for her, and now I'm at the press junket for her new film, Cake. Last night, uh, you were at the Critics' Choice Awards. Yeah. Uh, there to, to s promote an incredible uh, film, and all the international media is talking about is you and Angelina Jolie on the red carpet at the same time, when they should be celebrating you two amazing women with two incredible bodies of work. I agree with you. I agree. I think that's. I think that's slowly coming to an end. I really do. I mean, that movie is so beautiful and wonderful and she did such a gorgeous job and I think it's it's time people stop with that petty BS and just start start celebrating great work. The movie's so much fun. I mean, Iron's back, Tara's back, and they added uh, Hollywood's Perfect 10 oh, yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. But I, what I wanted to know is how, what you just said, how are they gonna go from one and two and crank up the terror in number three to 11? Take a look. Day two of filming, talk me through. What, what are we up to? Uh, the the storm has started. Okay, because it's very so, sunny at the it's moment. It's very sunny right now, yeah. but that'll all change in post-production. Movie magic. I can't help but notice your wardrobe today is very It's very shocking. Of what <laughs> Finn <laughs> Shepard would wear, the hoodie. I know. Which got me thinking, what would it take to get a part in Sharknado? I'm trying to bribe him. Others have tried and yeah. have been successful. You... I'll slip in the 20 and you can put me in the It'd take a few bucks more than that. Guess what? There I am as an extra in Sharknado 3. I can't tell you what it cost me. Now, I'm in the movie. Oh, so yeah, it is a look. It <laughs> worked. Was that strategic? It, it, the outfit was, that is the greatest moment of my career to date. <laughs> and I I'm thought just, it was being here with us. Well, this is the second greatest moment. Sharknado 3 <laughs> is pretty awesome. I'm just praying that some, some digital sharks come in and eat me a little bit. All right, thank you, Jason, thank very you. much. We have to talk about uh, Jimmy Fallon. Oh, God. We have to talk about The Tonight we Show. Do. Yes, this no, was... No, we don't. It's all about this uncomfortable Tonight Show moment, which has 7.5 million YouTube views. Nicole thinks it's a hooker, but Jimmy is without a clue. And then you put a video game on or something, and then you're like, this is so bad! Be honest with me, did Jimmy honestly have no idea that when you were in that room to hang out, mm -hmm. that possibly there was no, a, a chance that not. you might want to date. Everything that happened was totally real. Johnny is always a quirky interview. His daughter Lily seems to know why. She thinks her dad's weird. Oh, come on. Dad's an artist. Dad's weird, I think. How'd you get that little scar? I was running at nine months old in Australia and ran into a kangaroo and it kicked my face. Wow. No, it's a lie. Wait. Oh, really? that, that, a kangaroo, that was the best you could do? Come on, give me the real story. Look, the real story is a little less glamorous. I was a hyperactive kid. I split my head open eight times before I was two. But what we're learning here is that us, us Australians are very tough, okay? Chris Hemsworth, Australian, plays Thor. Hugh Jackman, Australian, plays Wolverine. We're, we're a tough bunch of blokes. And you have hard heads. We That's have very hard heads, yeah. Good stuff, man. Thanks for being Thanks, here. 